Hey, how's it going? Okay. So I'm going to work on making a hardcover for my portable mixed media book. I thought I would do overhead as well as side view. I I have no idea how that's going to work if my video editing equipment uh, software is going to rev the fans like it did with the handy cam, but these are two Canon camcorders, so I'm going to try that out. Camtasia is pretty copacetic with the Canon camcorders because they, uh, when I upload them to the computer, they come out as MP4 files instead of MTS files. And apparently that's a big thing with Camtasia. It doesn't like MTS files, even if they're converted to MP4. So, been there, done that. Okay, so what I did in a side view video is I cut these off of a notebook. So I have uh, two of these. This is the other one. I would go like that, only much <laughs> shorter. All right, okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm measuring to see I want to have some a little bit of overhang uh, at least on, over here on this side the open side and up here on the top as well and the bonus will be that there's a built-in pocket here so that that'll be good too I'm just trying to decide if I want to put the pocket hey maybe I want to put the pocket there like uh, when I open this up this way, for example, um, I'll have a pocket here. And this other side will be glued to the... I'm just going to glue it. I'm not going to do any sewing. There's no sewing involved in this. <laughs> in this no-sew portable mixed-media sketchbook. Okay. So, how far? Got to stay in range, camera range. Always stay in camera range. Stop, stop mumbling. Okay, I'm going to use this pen. And I just want to do, right now, And then put that over there. See if I can see it. Yay, I can barely see it. Now, what are we cutting this with? Just, oh, I put them away. I'll be done. <coughs> I'm going to try the old, good old fashioned Fiskars. I was going to use the guide and uh, cut it with the X Acto knife, but I think this will do the trick. Oh, maybe not. Maybe the X Acto knife. Boy, that is, I can barely see that. Ta-da! Wow, relatively straight for me. <laughs> okay. That one, and just to give this side, will it work the way I'm thinking of? This is glued. Oh, wait. Thinking, thinking in progress. Do not disturb. 
if I glue this, then it's going to be on the outside, right? Oh dear. So, thinking not such a good thing today. Nope. If I want it to be, I want this to be on the inside. Oh, this one. Right. Hmm. I can still do that because I could use it like a sleeve. However, this is probably where this would come in handy. And that's just because I want to get this. I want the... Oh, yes. Yeah. I was thinking that that would be way worse, but that is cool. <laughs> and then the other side... So maybe I don't need it because I want it to, what I want it to do, I can glue that in there. So I was thinking about putting that in there as well. Or gluing this right to this paper. And uh, this part of the cardboard would be on the outside of the book. Oh, yay, man. That would work. Okay. Um, are these... These are not long enough, obviously, but... Would it bother me? That's what I'm thinking. Is this going to bother me? I have some pieces of cardboard here. <laughs> just because last night I was making... I was cutting cardboard for the cast roger I want to make and would that be too big to you know come this this cardboard is much thicker than this cardboard this is just divider type of cardboard that goes in fancy feast cat food boxes that contain 24 or 30 cans so I could do that. What is the measurement here of this paper? Is nine inches. Six by nine, I believe. Then we're gonna measure to be sure. Six by nine. Okay. was doing some thinking there, like, am I doing it right? <laughs> this is six inches. Oh yeah, I need to do... I need to think, think more. This is the nine inch one. So... over here. That's what I need. Okay. 
And then this. Wow, my brain was just not on at all. It might still be off. <laughs> if this is. If I can't cut this right. Last night with these scissors, I figured out how to easily cut thick cardboard like this into big 8 inch by 16 inch pieces. And I used only one of the blades as kind of an exacto knife where I just went like that. And it, it worked perfectly. I couldn't believe how well it worked. Okay, so the bad thing about this type of cardboard is it's thicker and it, it already has these little bend marks, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that. And maybe, oh, you know, my, nope, nope, never mind. Okay, brain, don't fail me now. I think I need more ginkgo. All right, that goes on the inside. I'm going to glue it this way. And another thing I want to do is I want to use the handle. I also want to make sure I'm not just bending it down with this one. All right, it's going to go this way. Maybe I'll use it this way. This way. And I want to bend down this side. I want to just press it down. And I'm going to use the handle of these scissors. Because so I want to bend that down. I think it will interfere with the bending part of this page. So I still want it to fold over. Maybe I should cut like that. All right. Cut this off. I'm going to just cut off a smidge off of this end. Not measuring. Right, then I'm going to do this that way. It doesn't interfere. I could do the whole thing like that, just kind of. Flatten the whole thing down if I wanted to. That might be a good idea, too. Get a little work out there. Okay, I'm back. That was... <laughs> so both light, light wands went out. Of course it did. Of course both of them did. To did. Uh... This is like a Monday, even though it's a Sunday, and if I don't get moving, it's going to be Monday. So, I set up the light panel, and I had to turn off the cameras for that because um, the light panel is over there, and it's it's neighboring with the uh, the other camcorder. So, that, I should not, if that goes out, I didn't check the battery level, but... I have two more batteries for that. So I want to do... It's crooked. Of course it's crooked. <laughs> it's it's because I trimmed it off without measuring. I know that's what you're thinking. Okay, I got to get it semi-right. Okay, I see where... I see where it is, where the problem lies. It's just right down in there. And I'm going to take my little pencil and I'm going to move things. And I only need to trim off this part right here. If 
going to let me Please don't look at my <coughs> my cut job here. Okay, is that the all right, that'll do. I don't care if it's slightly off, but it was a little more than slightly off, so it was bugging me. Do I want to trim? No, I'm not measuring. way better than the lengthwise. Lots of cutting, lots of mistakes, lots of, lots of whatever. So today has not been such a good day for me, mostly sleep-wise. I went to bed around 7, 7.10 this morning, and at 8.12 I woke up feeling sick. And you probably think, oh, it's because you went to bed so late. <laughs> but no, it's become, because of all the junk food I had all day yesterday, I think. So I took a Tums, because I also had GERD. Man, a lot of GERD. Just lying there, like, no, I don't want to get up. All right. I don't want to get up. I am going to use... I think I'm going to use the glue today. I'm going to use the Molotov, is it? Oh, Tombow liquid, mono liquid glue. I keep forgetting that it's, uh, I'm not that shake it or not, but I keep forgetting that it's, uh, a twist off. Now, if, that, if there's too much glue on here or something, then it's not really going to matter if it wrinkles the paper because um, there's going to be more cardboard on the other side, so it won't really matter. Alright, so this is going to go into the sleeve. And while that's drying over here, Ooh. what's the shaking? Sure, I'll figure out a use for those. Oh, I'm going to need so. So. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's surprisingly good. I'm going to maybe trim off. I need my corner rounders. Okay, so this, oh wait, oh wait, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, this one, this one was for this one, right? Where this goes in, this way. You think it's dry? Oh, see, I can even, I really wouldn't even need to, well, I guess it will be drying in there. I wouldn't really, <laughs> I 
What's the thought? Name that thought. Uh, I wouldn't really need to glue it down. I could just do this. I would have to maybe come up with something here to protect the, the spine. But it could be, to make it like that, it could be removable. And I could just keep putting books in as I fill them up. That would be awesome. Okay, then this one goes on this side. And this will also go in here, right? Is it this one? Can I use this one? I can. Oh, yeah. So that's that's done there and so oh no yawning. <clears throat> this I'm just gonna put this like this. <clears throat> Actually did a pretty good job on this side. And this side is not going to be shown uh, to me because this will be covering it. This will be like, like this. And then I want to see how I can uh, attach... I want to attach maybe some fabric glue, fabric glue, <laughs> fabric, I do have fabric glue, fabric tape right here, or I could maybe peel off this part here, and, because I do have these extras, right, to fold over, hey, that might work. Does this come off? Does this come out? 
Ooh. Cool. <laughs> of sorts. Okay, you know my brain is. I want it like this. would go on maybe like this or not if I open that up Place my Sunday with Monday. <clears throat> so today I finally moved the cat's big box up upstairs to their room so they can mess around with that box. They'll probably keep me awake tonight. <laughs> I want to go to sleep early tonight because I'm trying to get my sleep schedule back in sync with, you know, something other than going to bed at 8 in the morning and sleeping till 4 in the afternoon. Okay. Is this dry? Let's take a break. Oh, that's sticky. I don't know why that's sticky. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So these have had time to dry. But I didn't want, you know, just kind of shoot the breeze. And I mean, I could have deleted it and whatever. <laughs> and whatever. Um... And now I can put this in here. So I will need to maybe add a little piece of tape here because this one's kind of open. That was my fault. <laughs> and then this open already opened it up and I kind of just want to how would I do that? Did I give it any thought? No. No. I'm just waiting for the oven timer to go off so I can eat supper. I just Side's annoying. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Maybe this. Do a little thinking. If you don't want to cut it, then you just bend it, fold it back a little. Of course, you might have to cut it. Yeah, that was a bad idea, I admit it. I got another one. Oh, you're kidding. You guys chasing each other again? Okay. <laughs> 
that is not too shabby actually. Considering, you know, I get done cutting. Oh, maybe I should have measured. Measuring is so overrated. Or, I do have vinyl sheets. This is vinyl, I suppose. And where am I going? I have vinyl. <laughs> where am I going with that thought? I have vinyl sheets that are adhesive back. And I could actually do, I could do that. Where am I going here? This bothers me, I don't know why. Why do you like? I don't even know, that's weird. Now I'm just kind of tinkering with this with this idea and obviously this is not the one I'm going to put in because it's uh it goes like a um, three quarters of an inch there All right and I would cut this instead of cutting this back so wide because originally this was attached and I was thinking that this was going to be attached but this is not going to be attached so, that's what I need, just, this measures, how big, Tammy? Nine, really not quite ten inches. No, it's like nine and... A little more than nine and three quarter, nine and something inches. Almost ten inches. So, I just want to, I want to cut this off. This trim, this seam part off. And this too. And cutting them off on both sides and this top side. Boy. Will allow just just the right amount. Uh oh, I hear it. I hear somebody. Stop trying to bury the food. <laughs> This is what I've discovered with these kittens. Okay, they're uh, 14, 15 months old. I just recently celebrated their 15th month old birthday. Is when I have a, I have a perpetual dry food feeder. And if I put too much dry food in the first, in the bowl part of the feeder, they will attempt to bury it, bury the food. They don't want to smell it. They used to be outdoor kitties, so they're all about burying their food. No, don't let anybody near my food. I'm gonna bury it. <laughs> it's so strange. So what I try and do is when I put the food in, I just put a very little bit in the bowl, and then I kind of hold it in or hold, put my hand over the feeder part where I pour the rest of the food in. <gasps> That's awesome! And, uh, and then I pour the rest of the food in at the top and make sure that as little as possible 
appears in the bowl. Well, I didn't do that today. Today when I filled it, I just poured it right in there and it was on empty, which is why the cats are bugging me. Wake up, we're starving. I was like, starving cats. <clears throat> that looks cool. So, I would have to Make my own little spine there. I want to make more. Obviously, I would have to, to glue that there, right? If I glue that there and I leave this open, would I? I probably would not have enough room, so maybe leave it. I don't know, leave it too open. Or. put something there that I can remove so I can remove the book, the portable book well actually I could still do that because even if I bent it this way after it's glued I can pull this out yeah I think that'll work yeah okay so, as long as it's not glued on the inside, and it's just glued here on this side, yeah man, that excites me! <laughs> I'm so excited. Sing along with me. Yeah, that works. Okay. So, I need to throw glue in there. That'll be interesting. This will be much easier because I can just... Yeah. Will this work? I'm going to try it. Try the pointy end first. And let me try this. Oh, wait, you know what I was just thinking? What's Tammy thinking? Oh, never mind. <laughs> She's not... Never mind. Never mind about that silly thinking stuff. I was thinking... Erroneously. <laughs> I was thinking that... The, um... The glue is going to go on the spine there. That's what I was thinking. I said, no, it's not. It's going underneath this. Will that work? I need a book. Just a little book. Where's my giant biology book? That I was going to... Oh, I know what book. A little light reading. Out of many, a history book, history textbook. That I don't think we use this book anymore. Instructor's review copy. I do not teach history, but I do. Uh, we used to do this project for developmental reading and writing, and it was. Um, had to do with history, like give the students a taste of what to expect in their history course. Okay. So, I'm uh, con contemplating turning that out of many history book into a journal. Because <laughs> it's nice, big, has a lot of good, cool historical pictures. History-like pictures. Okay, you think that's holding? I think that's holding. Awesome!
And then this one. Oh, that was just horrible. Horrible. Wipe it off my hands here. Because I think this is easier like most glue, while it's still wet, I should be able to get it off. And then whatever kind of uh, pasting I need to do below that flap, I should be able to do it. Should I also make this a learn as I go since I've never ever done this before? I'm sure other people have done it, but I have not watched videos on how to, you know, take a notebook binder and make your own book out of it. And now, now I need to do a journal, right? Because I can use one of these as a cover. Baby wipes don't remove this glue <laughs> from my hands. What's up with that? You might be saying, oh, you think you're allergic to it, so you wipe in your hands, but uh, nope, I'm just doing it because my fingers are sticky and I want to get it off. And you know, I got to do things like turn off the camera from time to time. Okay, so let me do that. I'm okay with it being a little loose there. Where am I? Okay. So? So, that, uh, should I sign, not, you know, I'm not going to sign off because I want to come back in and show you, okay, this is what it looks like. I am going to take that chance of uh, filming after the pizza, after I've eaten my supper, or I'll film tomorrow during the day if I can, if I can do that. I don't know if I can or not, so we'll see.